What is good, y'all? We are live. Very special early live today for y'all. Special early live. Wanted to come on here, talk about some hip hop topics, some major hip hop topics. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about Gilly. Um, we're gonna do a little throwback. Some talk. major hip hop topics. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about Gilly. Um, we're gonna do a little throwback. Some talk. major hip. Excuse me, guys. Just let me get my audio situated here in the studio. So let me get my audio situated, rolling up a little lemon pepper. You know, we got that lemon pepper on deck. Wanted to do a special early live video for y'all today, this morning. Wanted to come on live, shoot a little game with y'all, talk a little game. We're going to be talking about the G-Unit movie. I want to talk about the G-Unit movie with y'all. Everybody knows that after the success of uh, 8 Mile, after the major, major success of Straight Outta Compton, uh notorious uh tupac's film all eyes on me both getting runs in the theaters that's right both getting theatrical releases both getting major budgets when dj who kid had the opportunity to talk to 50 cent he had to talk to him about the g unit movie i mean shit another way to for who kid to get a check right they involved who kid in the video game right it was uh 50 Yayo, Buck Banks, and Who Kid? Was Who Kid in it? Remind me, y'all, if you guys played Blood in the Sand, if you guys played Bulletproof, remind me, was Who Kid actually featured in the video game? Because if they make a G Unit movie, if we see the Jitch, Jitch, G Unit feature film, Who Kid's going to have to be in it. You know what I mean? Who Kid could have a couple crazy scenes in there. You know, the scene where he got caught up for involving himself in all the G unit beef. You know what I mean? Who kid could literally be a decent part of the movie. He's going to have to be there on the sets. You know what I mean? If they decide to actually make his role, a big presence could be just a random guy sitting at the DJ booth spinning shit. And they don't even play him. No mind. And they don't even play him. No mind could be that. But if there's a G unit film, it means we're going to have to see 50 means we're going to have to see Banks. means we're going to have to see Yayo. It means we're going to have to see that relationship that 50 Cent took on with the game when Dr. Dre said, yo, Fifth, I've got a little issue going on here. It seems like the game is getting caught up like all my other artists. Gage, Bishop Lamont, Busta Rhymes. It seems like the game is getting caught up and unable to release the NWA album, you guys. That's right. The game's original album was going to be called NWA. A throwback, basically, to his favorite group. A throwback to Easy and Dre and Cube and Yella and Ren, who actually put, who actually put the West Coast on like that. It made everybody see that gangster rap was here to stay. What is going on, y'all? I appreciate everybody for tapping in. That's right. It's an early morning live. I was reading up a little bit of news where 50 and Who Kid were talking about the G Unit movie. And you know, with uh what what what's the first hip hop movie that we got, you guys? I'm not talking about the hip hop movies that star rappers, I'm talking about biographies. We already got 50 Cent's biography, Get Rich or Die Trying. We literally already got the Get Rich or Die Trying movie, which did not do all that well. I would have to say the soundtrack might have done better than the film. The soundtrack doing 325,000 records first week. The Get Rich or Die Trying movie, I think it moved like 12 million. I think 50 did like 12 million sales first week. So not the best. Not the best for Get Rich or Die Trying's first week movie sales. Let me see. Get Rich. Or die trying, trying first week box office. That's right, $12 million. You know what I mean? I don't come on here capping you guys. I come on here giving real information. Now, Gilly the Kid went off. Gilly the Kid went off, you guys. After what happened, after what happened with Wallow and Drake, we all heard about Sweden. We all heard about. The sixth God, 
getting taken in in Sweden, whether the rumors were true, they're false. Uh, Drake had posted something on his social media that may have indicated he was in custody for a few hours. Maybe it was a rib. I'm not really all the way 100% with it. I don't usually come on here reporting on Drake. You know what I mean? Even though Drake is a good dude, even though Drake introduced himself to me, uh, you know, Drake is a real good dude. You know what I'm saying? But when I see things about Drake, you know what I mean? Like, let's talk, for instance, when Drake actually shouted Gilly the Kid out. When Drake actually shouted Gilly the Kid out because Gilly went ham. Gilly went ham saying all this type of shit on million dollars worth of game. Drake reposted it. But now Drake has let Gilly know someone very close to him was snitching. Somebody snitched on me. Somebody snitched on Drizzy. Somebody snitched on Drizzy, apparently, because Drake wrote Gilly a message. Drake wrote Gilly a pretty serious message, which Gilly followed up with a social media posting about the end, the end of million dollars worth of game. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about million dollars worth of game. We're talking about the G Unit movie, you guys. We're talking about both. So everybody in the chat, let, uh, hit that like button. Let me know what city and state you're from. We got 100 people in here. 11.30 in the morning. We're going live. Switch it up on you a little bit. Get Start your day off with a little bit of that knowledge. Start your day off with a little bit of this hip-hop knowledge, you guys. And let's enjoy the day as well. I hope everybody out there enjoys their day today. And let's get it kicked off right exactly so i'm going to read this message from drake champagne poppy himself champagne poppy himself messaged gilly after uh apparently drake was taken into custody drake was apparently taken into custody for four hours now speaking as someone who has been in custody for four hours i gotta say four hours being in custody is pretty annoying I still remember the day that they came in and they said, you're not getting out of here today, Mikey T. You're going to be going to the judge tomorrow. I was like, damn, is that serious? Well, I mean, they had me hemmed up in there for a second. A couple minutes later, this, that, and the third happens. They bring in a bank robber. That's a story for another day. Bank robber's on the other side of the jail cell. I'm on this side of the jail cell. Bank robber's like, so what did you do? And this is before he told me he was a bank robber. But yeah, that's a whole nother story, you guys. That's a whole nother story that we're not talking about today. Drake hit Gil up. Drake hit Gil up and he's like, they put me in jail last night. They put me in jail last night for four hours. Snatched me out the club last night for no reason. They claimed suspicious activity. They had me strapped down in a police van. Suspicious activity. Suspicious activity. Come on. Let's be real about this. I remember my friend, it's Matic in Miami. He got hemmed up by the police for suspicious activity because he was walking to and from his car multiple times. They look at some shit like that. They look at some shit like that like, Yo, look what this guy's doing. We got our eye on you, man. Why do you keep on walking back and forth? Why do you keep on slapping hands with everybody in the club? But how does Drake, how does Drizzy get written up for suspicious activity? What is Drake doing that's suspicious? Drake even has to duck behind Chubbs when he hits the cush up. You know what I'm saying? I even got to duck behind Chubbs when I hit the cush up. Because he doesn't want to lose his endorsement deals. So this is what it all boils down to, you guys. When Drake, if Drake gets arrested, it's bad publicity. Drake gets arrested, it's going to be all over the news. Shit, Drake tries to swipe a beer, a, a beer, a bee out of the air, and it goes viral. I have the same reaction to a bee. My girl and my homies are looking at me like I'm crazy. Drake has the same reaction to a B. 
The whole internet's looking at him like he's crazy. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Ja. What does Drake have to be snitched on? But Drake is like, Drake is like, they put me in jail last night for four hours. And like I said, them four hour bids be the worst. Them four hour bids be the worst when you got that concrete, uh, basically that concrete couch bed that you're sitting on. You look under it real quick and then you see a little baggie. You know, you're like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that little baggie in here in my cell? And it looks like it's tobacco in there. Somebody had some swag up in this cell. But anyways, you find a little baggie in your cell. You're kind of like, yo, what the hell are they trying to put on me here? Because you know if you bring marijuana into a police barracks, that's actually a felony. You know, if you ever get, got hit, arrested with some weed, they always tell you, yo, if you got anything on you, if you bring this into the station, it becomes a felony rather than a misdemeanor offense. So. Drake is saying last night, for no reason, they claimed suspicious activity and they had me strapped down in a police van, took my phone. Oh, shit. They took Drizzy's phone. I mean, shit. When Boosie got pulled over and they was outside, I seen, seen Boosie's homie was pulling out the phone. Let me get a little screen capture of this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I saw a video of French Montana. French Montana was literally in uh, the, the the holding cell and he still had his phone. You know what I mean? Pretty shocking to me that, uh, uh, what is it? The, can't be the, what is it? The foreign countries let you hold on to your phone and all that. So you can be screen recording everything or just a uh, uh, video and everything. So get this though. Drake is like, they strapped me down in a police van, took my phone all kinds of dumb shit. They said that they got a call about me while I was in there. I know it was Wallow. I know it was Wallow. What? What? Guys, I'm asking you in the question, do you want to see a G-Unit feature film? I'm asking everybody in the live right now. Do you guys want to see a G-Unit feature film? Let me know. Let me know if you guys want to see a G-Unit feature film. But we're still on the Gilly Drake topic. I got to read Gilly's response to this next. So Drake is saying that he was strapped down in a van. Uh, Strapped down, Drake, like you're uh, in the butterfly effect or something like that. I don't think they had you strapped down back there, Drizzy. But Drake is obviously just being comedic. You know what I mean? Drake knows how Gilly and Wallow act. Gilly responded to Drake with mad laughing emojis. Yo, I'm dead, 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 dead emoji. Wait, wait. So Gilly wants to get this down. Wait, did Wallow snitch? Because I always knew Cuz was a rat. Or was it a different call? Laughing emojis. Drake is like, ha, man ratted on me long distance. He ratted on Drizzy. Drake is saying Wallow ratted on him long distance. You know, this is crazy because literally every day Wallow and Gilly be going back and forth at each other. I really think this is uh, Gilly's response to Wallow putting up so many different images of Gilly with R. Kelly. You know that Photoshop image of Gilly and R. Kelly actually in the studio where it seems like Gilly's arm is over his, the back of his head or something and Kells is holding his hand like that. It's kind of sus, you know what I mean? It's kind of suspect and Wallow kept on posting it. Wallow realized, okay, the posting is a little, a little like, we're getting a little too much with it. Wallow added music to it. Wallow added music to it. Wallow went absolutely off over the last few months with this picture of Gilly and R. Kelly. Um, but I got to say, man, it's entertainment for all of us watching. You know what I'm saying? The fact that these two can laugh at things like this. The fact that they are intriguing somebody like Drake to actually show interest in their show. You know what I mean? To actually have interest in their show. Will we see Drake come on Million Dollars Worth the Game? 
Will the recent issue, it doesn't seem like the recent issue with Lil Wayne has made Drake weary of dealing with million dollars worth of game. Let's be honest here, y'all. Let's be honest. Look at the situation, you guys. Champagne Poppy, very close affiliate of Lil Wayne. Gilly the Kid literally just had this whole blow up with Lil Wayne. They went, they did this whole stupid shit where uh, the whole thing got put on blast by Mac Main. It's led into this whole Rick Ross feud. You know what I'm saying? Look at the facts. Look at the facts of it, man. And Drake is still messaging Gilly. They're still cool. Hopefully we see them on the show one time. I know Gilly's show is based on the new artist, but Drake, he deserves to be on there. 50 Cent, he deserves to be on the show especially with all that talk going on between Rick Ross right now. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Drake, I mean, excuse me, that Gilly doesn't have 50 Cent on the show just to quote unquote bake Rick Ross. But yeah, man, let's take a look at Gilly's message to Wallow. Let's take a look at Gilly's message to Wallow or to the world, really, y'all. Gilly's like, I've got a very disturbing news. He's like, I've got very disturbing news. Million dollars worth the game. Salute to Chicago. Million dollars worth the game will no longer be going on. I'm cut a certain way. I live by certain rules. And I do not F with no rats. I do not F with no rats. I done, I don't F with no Rizzies. I was a dude that subscribed to the streets. And even though I'm not in the streets no, no more, my cousin Wallow is a rat. Gilly got the message from Drake, y'all. Gilly got the message from Drake. Drake messaged Gilly. Drake was uh, hemmed up for four hours. Drake was hemmed up for four hours in a police van. Strapped down, they took out Drizzy's phone so Drizzy couldn't make no multi million dollar plays. You know, there's million dollar plays coming into Drake's phone every single shout out to shout out to Burner Man. No other bloggers repping that cookies like me. Yeah, listen to what Gilly said. Yeah, we already know, we already know million dollars ain't going nowhere, baby. Million dollars worth the game ain't going nowhere. So Gilly's like, my cousin Walla was a rat. Unfortunately, million dollars worth of game will no longer be going on. I'm going to start my own thing. He's going to start his own thing now. I'm sorry to all the fans that took the journey with us, but my cousin is a big rat. Now, uh, this to me, it's a joke, obviously. It's a joke. Drake was even in on the joke. Hopefully, this will lead to Drake coming on the show. I know Drake doesn't do that many interviews, but it would be great to see him on Million Dollars Worth the Game, you guys. It would be awesome to see Drake on a Million Dollars Worth the Game. And uh, is the Little Wayne relationship going to stop it? I can't say. I really can't say, you guys. Um, the fact that they're messaging each other, it shows me a lot. The fact that Drake was cool with him actually posting it says a lot as well. Because you know how it is, man. You know, oh, Josh says this is a rollout. This is a, it's not the same as the little Dirk rollout though, bro. Ja, it's not the same as the little Dirk rollout. Cause with the little Dirk joint, they would literally play clips from it. But if they do eventually get, if they do eventually get Drake on the show, I'm sure they will play clips of it as well. So let's take a look at the get rich or Dr die trying sequel. Would a G unit movie actually be the sequel? I mean, honestly, at the end of Get Rich or Die Trying, I really wanted uh, another movie where it would show 50 Cent actually getting signed to M and Dre, where it would show 50 Cent actually going on to form his label, G-Unit. Back in the day, I thought 50 was going to be working on a reality show to actually put out Buck, Banks, Yayo, Mob Deep, M.O.P., Olivia, spider Loke. I thought he was going to actually do a reality show. You know what I mean? Kind of similar to making the band, but more about G-Unit. I'm not talking about money in the power style shit. 
I'm actually talking about 50 doing a reality show, kind of like to promote all of his albums. So 50 actually sat down with DJ Who Kid. We all know when these two get together, it's going to be some great conversation. So Who Kid was asking 50 Cent about a G Unit movie or show. Yes, which he says will be a hit. I think back in the day, a reality show would have been a hit. I think nowadays it's got to be more of the movie role. Uh, so, so who kid said there was an NWA, there was like all these Tupac movies. Is there gonna be a G Unit movie? Who kid asked? Who kid actually asked them that? Is there gonna be a G Unit movie? You know, uh, Fifty said no. That's really not a viable idea. And get this, twenty twenty. You know, 50's like, I don't care to do that. I'd like to forget G-Unit. I'd like to forget G-Unit. You know, when we talk about G-Unit, you guys, when we look at the careers of G-Unit, how fast they all got off. You know what I mean? They all got off the plate fast. You know what I mean? They all had solo albums. But the fact is, Nobody circled back around again and really did another solo album as successful as their first. This could be one of the reasons that I think 50 Cent would want to forget G-Unit. You know what I mean? This is one of the reasons I think 50 Cent would want to forget G-Unit. Because although we look at G-Unit as one of the most successful labels, I mean, shit, every artist went platinum. You know what I mean? Every main artist from G-Unit actually went platinum. That was their big thing back in the day. That was their big thing back in the day. You know, the fact that they were all majorly successful. They all were not able to circle the globe once more. They all were not able to circle that earth once more, as 50 Cent has been able to do multiple times, you guys. Maybe that's one of the reasons 50 would want to forget about it. Now, we're talking 2020. 2022, we're two years removed. Obviously, no movies were actually in production in 2020. You know what I mean? Pandemic shit. There wasn't any movies going out. The theaters, everybody switched to watching their movies on HBO Max. All the theaters even started putting their movies in HBO Max. But right now, people are jam-packing the theaters. Movies are doing so great right now. Hell, uh, we just saw the Elvis movie. We just saw Thor's doing great. Has the time changed? Has the time changed? Could a G-Unit movie be more lucrative now? And like I said, with the Diplomat movie, if they do a Diplomat movie, they should do a third diplomatic immunity to go along with it. I think that's the obvious next step for G-Unit, uh, for Dipset. Now with G-Unit, 50 didn't take interest in doing it. 50 would have rather done the BMF show. You know what I mean? 50 would rather do something that is more complete rather than something that is somewhat left open-ended. You know what I mean, guys? The G-Unit story has not necessarily finished yet. The G-Unit story did not necessarily go where it needed to go. 50 Cent says he'd rather forget G-Unit. 50 Cent says it's not the time to do the G-Unit movie right now. Have things changed? Will a budget come in place for 50 Cent and G-Unit? Or will the long-rumored story of the Beatles falling apart hold true? Guys, that was the topics for today. I wanted to come on and give you a short live exclusive. Let me check out the poll. Hell no, Jamil. That was a big joke, man. Gilly and Wallow are bidden. Gilly and Wallow are bidden. And Drake got in with it, y'all. And G-Unit and G-Unit movies. We'll have to wait and see, man. We'll have to wait and see. Like I said, we've seen Eminem. We've seen Pac. We've seen Big. You know what I mean? Boosie even has a movie out right now. 50 had his own solo movie. The NWA group had a movie, which is why I think everybody is talking about, you know, right after NWA, they were talking about a DPG movie. You know what I mean? That's why I think people are interested in seeing a cash money movie and seeing how that label was put together, how each member came into play. Master P was even talking about doing something called The King of the South, which I think maybe turned into a show. You know what I mean? We got a lot of different uh, interesting angles to look at this. I hope you guys enjoyed this live video, man. I'm going to be doing more joints like this all the time. Make sure y'all tap in with me tonight at 10.30 p.m. I'll be back on live. I wanted to come on here and talk about these topics. 
Gilly the Kid, million dollars worth the game with Wallow. It, and the infamous, in the famous words, excuse me, of P. Diddy, of Papa Diddy Pop, million dollars worth of game ain't going nowhere. And we can't be stopped now. It's Mike T for life. See y'all at 10.30.